hello guys you're welcome back to my channel this is me and your girl and i am super excited to have you back so on today's video it is ladies talk yes my ladies we will be talking about why most women stay in abusive relationships in marriages and we're talking about this not because we just want to talk about it we're talking about it maybe a woman out there will watch this video and think to herself really this thing that I am going through people actually have a different orientation a different mindset about it that you are not all alone but your decision really really matters when it comes to abusive marriages and relationships first I would say is low self-esteem mm -hmm. low self-esteem is one major disease that most women suffer from you will see a beautiful lady a very beautiful beautiful lady but then she has this whole low self-esteem about herself Whenever you talk to her, she's like, I don't know, I don't know if I can, I think, I don't think, come on. When a woman starts feeling that way, now she feels like she doesn't really deserve this man. And sometimes they feel, they feel like everything that happens to them, they feel like, oh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that they should be grateful for and shouldn't let go, which is really okay, but... When that blessing starts to be a cause, they do not know. When that blessing starts to become, you know, a cause in their life, they do not notice. So at this point in time, they still feel grateful for that thing. Let's take a man because we're talking about abusive relationship. Okay, she meets this guy, they fall in love and she's so grateful she has this guy because with that low self-esteem, she feels like it's a blessing that she actually has that guy. She feels like it's a blessing that she actually has this guy. So, if this guy goes on to abuse her, she doesn't know how to let go. She feels like she should hold on, hold on to it. I have once talked to a lady who is being abused by her boyfriend. And the things she told me, oh God, I as a woman, I felt so, so bad. I was like, girl, girl, please, can you not talk about yourself in this manner? Like she was feeling all pitiful, like she feels like he's a blessing. She feels like she got to keep him. She feels like he's all she's got. She feels like she's, she doesn't deserve him. And this is wrong. So that is why I am saying the first thing is low self-esteem. And until we women start to realize that we are worth more than what we think we are worth, then things won't be okay. Until we learn to place ourselves exactly where we belong and that is high up there because that is where you belong every person should belong there a woman a man if you place yourself in a place where you should be respected you'll be respected there is something I always say if you present yourself as a maid to people you will surely get the treatment of a maid. But if you present yourself and carry yourself like a queen, then people will treat you like the queen that you are because you have presented yourself in this manner. So let's not talk more about self-esteem. But this is one thing that makes women stay in abusive relationships. Next thing that keeps women in abusive relationships would be fear of the unknown. What will happen if I leave him? Am I going to find someone else who loves me the way he does? Am I ever going to find a man who's going to, 
Who's gonna what? Who's gonna treat you like he does? Who's gonna beat you up? If he loves you, he will not hurt you. Why do women misconstrue love for being violent? A man who loves you cannot beat you. I don't understand how women think that violence and love can go hand in hand. And this is a notion that we should correct as women. Believe me, a man who loves you will never beat you. So the moment you realize that he's not having true love for you, because if ever you love something, you don't want to hurt them. So women, please, let us be awake. Let us wake up. This is actually more, it's more of a, a pep talk to my fellow women to get up, own it, own your shit, because you can. If he beats you, he doesn't love you. The most disgusting part is that a man is beating you in a relationship and you go ahead to marry him. What do you expect after marriage? Anointing from above, right? You expect God to come down and change someone who did not change in your relationship. Come on, don't get it twisted. Love, they say, is a beautiful thing. So, the moment you realize that love is good, love is kind, forget about bricks and lace who sang love is wicked. They sang it to mean something else not wicked in terms of violence okay my ladies let's move on to another reason why women stay in abusive relationships and marriages financial dependence yes so this is a very big one it plays a very big role in keeping women tied especially to marriages let's leave relationship out of this one marriages so you get married to a man who is very rich, who is well-to-do, and you decide to become a lazy woman. Because that's what I call it. Women of nowadays, they know how to make money. Women go out there and make money to help their families. I know that some men prefer to have their wives at home. But if you were a woman of this generation, you tell your husband, honey, I need to make some money myself. You need to be independent. It is financial dependence on a man that keeps him to maltreat you and treat you the way he likes because he knows who's going to take care of her. She has no one to go to. How is she going to survive? She has nothing. She doesn't have money. She doesn't have... You know, all these things going on in his mind, which is really so sad. I tell you, it is really so sad. So, my women, I encourage you. Let us encourage each other to be financially independent. Help your husband. You have a lovely relationship. You have a wonderful husband. Help your husband. Make some money. Know how to make your own money. Because if it's coming from you and coming from him, and it's coming together, now there is a bit of mutual respect. Because this man knows that, oh, my wife is trying, my wife is trying to do this, she's trying to do that. Don't you sit at home, balance, like Dorati, and depend on him to give you everything. Of course, before you know, the, the respect begins to diminish and before you know it one thing leads to another and he starts to feel the way he starts to feel this is why we as women shouldn't really go for already made men <laughs> as for that woman who said that she wants an already made man <laughs> when you go to that guy and he's already made <laughs> you may not like what you get from that already made man better you build with your man he would love it he would love you he would respect you for it so something that. else that keeps women in abusive relationships and marriages is the society what would they say well i call it pressure 
what would they say? She's no more married to her husband. She's no more this. She's this. She's that. What would my family say? What would the people around say? The society. Listening to what they will say rather than listening to your instinct and listening to that gut feeling you have telling you, babe, if you don't do something very soon, you're going to die here. And you know the worst part? If you stay in there and one day he hits you somewhere and you fall, who knows? He may go. He may be free. He may lie that something happened to you and go on to marry someone else. You will be lucky if he's caught and he goes to jail for it. So my ladies, please do not endure things like this. Just don't. It doesn't work out. Please, my ladies. Final one that I want to bring to your notice is, especially for African women, church. I know for the foreign women, the church doesn't play a part, or maybe it does. But for the African society, the church plays a very big role in keeping people in violent marriages. Pray it out. There is nothing the Lord cannot do. Pray he is God. Pray for him to change. Change to what? Change from where to where? He's been beating you all day long, abusing you, both emotionally, physically, psychologically. What else? And you pray. You pray, you pray. And your prayer isn't working. Because of course, I know you must have been praying for quite a long time now. Do the needful. Do not think about the church. They don't live with you in that house. They don't know what's happening. They don't. You are the one who's going through this whole mess. And they are the ones judging you. How does it, how does it balance? And that's why people say this life, no balance. How does it equal to, to what you're going through? Someone out there in the church is telling you to pray it out. You are right there at home getting the beating of your life. And they are out there asking you to pray it out. The next time your mommy G.O. or daddy G.O. sends you back to pray it out. Tell them to go live there and get some beating and see if they will pray it out. Come on, my ladies. Let's not let people of the world fool us. Yes, don't let people of the world fool you. We listen so much to what they say. We listen so much to what the church will say. And that is why I really, really sometimes don't understand this churchgoers. I'm a Christian. I go to church. But there are some churchgoers that don't know exactly what they're doing. And they are there only to judge people in the house of God becomes sorry the house of God becomes a judgment ground look at this lady Osinachi who was a gospel singer loved by all it happened to her she stayed on she tried to pray it out and she prayed until she entered her grave so my ladies let's not let this happen to us let's not Simply from a woman who's here, speaking from me to you, let's not allow this to happen. If you are in a violent relationship or marriage, for relationship is nothing. You could walk out any day. Think about what I said. Your esteem is what you should work on and work out. Same also with the marriage. A woman who has a good self-esteem will never go back to a man who beats her and treats her as he wants never yes so i need you to learn from this and change this whole thing so that you become happy okay my ladies so without further ado to have a lovely day to have a happy day stay happy stay blessed and bye bye i love you